country of Antigua and Barbuda is made up of two major islands, Antigua and Barbuda. So there's absolutely no way I'm going to visit Antigua and fail to see Barbuda. Today, I'm taking you on an adventure to go and experience the sister island of Antigua. So I'm going to be taking a catamaran and I'm so excited. I don't know what to expect, but I'm hoping it's just as beautiful as Antigua or even better. So come with me and let's go on this adventure. And I'm also using a boat today. Sometimes I get seasickness. I hope the oceans will be kind with me, so let's do this. We just made it to the dock. This is where we're going to be taking. I'm guessing this is going to be our boat. I'm guessing it has to be this one. Today we have a cruise ship, Norwegian Sky. Wait, where is it from? It has an Antiguan flag. Okay, so we have a cruise ship today and waiting to go, waiting to board. So I just got my boarding pass, Tropical Adventures boarding pass, excellent. So it's definitely gonna be. Some people have written books, some this. have a great look that covers the magazine. Get to our 17, but I don't know what Ooh, to do. Time to Staring go into the blue sky and just waiting for a sign. Some they are certain of what awaits them when it all ends. But I don't know what will happen to me. Will I be remembered in a century? Or will I be forgotten like dust in the wind? Or the talk of the town that we are living? Okay. Thank you. Immediately we got in, we were welcomed by some refreshing drinks. And I want to thank the Antigua and Barbuda Tourism Authority for making this trip possible for me. So when you visit Antigua, don't fail to check out Barbuda. So there's so many trips. If you want to go into the country, if you want to go to the beach, if you want to explore different beaches, if you want to go to the bird sanctuary. So for this one, we are going to be exploring the bird sanctuary. We are also going to be checking out some beach. So I hope you are excited for this adventure just as I am if you are please smash the like button like the video and subscribe in case this is your first time here on this channel let's do this let's go to Barbuda
one of the things that i appreciated about this tour is that as we were leaving st john's we were seeing all these structures and we had a tour guide that's what i would call the person who would point out places and tell us about these places like we just passed for james let's get some sun baby it's time to go the fact that through such a trip we are seeing the country from another perspective from water i mean we saw the country from above when we were landing now we are able to see part of the island not the whole island as we are heading to barbuda so most of these beachfront properties are resorts hotels and holiday homes and oh my goodness Antigua is just so beautiful. I can't wait to see what Barbuda has in store for us. So we just made it to Barbuda. If you want to sit by at the beach, you can. But we're going to the bird sanctuary. So they got a couple of boats that come here. Step on it. Watch it. Step on it. Okay. Where one other one? Right here. You're gonna sit right here. Guys, be sure of this place right here. Put your hands on the side, okay? Don't put your hands on the side. Alright, no problem. Next to my friend. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Next to you. <laughs> oh. Ooh, so we're going to the bad sanctuary now. We're gonna see a second. Okay. Oh. So we are leaving our boat. 
Going to the bird sanctuary is an optional activity, otherwise you can stay at the beach as the rest of the people who are interested are taken to the bird sanctuary. At the bird sanctuary, I was told that you're going to be seeing the national bird of Antigua, the frigate. The boat ride to the bird sanctuary takes about 20 minutes and there is a lot of water that splashes on you so if you have any gadgets make sure you secure them. We made it to the bird sanctuary. Oh wow. Oh. Uh, there's a spider. Uh, what birds are those? Look down on the boat. What birds are those? Whitehead birds. Whitehead birds? <laughs> oh, no, no. Ooh, look at their heads. Look, they're pretty. What's the name of the birds? Frigate birds. Frigate. Frigate. And local Frigate. name we call them Manawat. Frigate birds. Here is the only place you can find them, right? No, what happened? I'm not going to see no bales. They run with the red yeah. because of the end of the mating season. Oh, okay, okay. The male okay. migrate. Migrate, okay. Yeah, yeah, so these are all like females. Florida. So they hit and oh, run. Yeah, right. Get a of them. <laughs> it's illegal to catch them, right? Yeah, you only get not to go so. Okay. Uh, oh, swing frigate. ears. Swing ears. Frigate bad? What did it how what's how do you pronounce it? Frigate. Fidget. No, forget bird, yeah. Forget bad. Forget bad, the national bird of yeah. Antigua. Yeah, national bird. Seriously, he is so sweet. Are they sleeping? Some of them look like they're sleeping. Look at that. They're not males? No. Oh, the red ones? So they, they went to Florida, he said. Oh, so the one yeah. in the... They went to Florida? Mating. Mating. Oh, so they hit and run? Yeah. <laughs> Of their loving. Huh? <laughs> so if they heat and then they migrate after the mating season, that means they heat and run. It's like the male chase the girls. The males make themselves look handsome. The females are the one that hovers around and girls look around. And when she see the male that she likes, she will land on the branch next to him. Why she's on the branch up close and first and she really likes that male to let him know, she will start to rub up herself on the pouch, sending the signal to him and choosing you as my companion. Both birds will do just as what you might think any other couple would be doing. Having the romantic session, grooming, fluffing each other's feather. But in all that part of the romance, the male will now be deflating the pouch. The inflated pouch is only used to win the, 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 the female. When he gets that, he deflates, suck it up like he never had it inflated. And when he's finished doing that, he puts the female to sit right where he was sitting. And then he flies off start looking twigs and sticks when he brings back to the female. It takes both birds to build the nest. The male look the material, the female does the construction. What the female does to keep the male looking twigs, twigs and sticks, every time he brings between five, six pieces, she mates with him. 
She used the mating like a reward system, keeping him looking twigs and sticks until the nest is completed. When the nest is completed, the female lays one egg. That's all. One egg. Oh. When she's finished, when she's finished laying that one egg, this is where the real work of the males now come together because they're the one that stays home and sit on the egg. The female is the one that goes out to the ocean, looks the food, stores it up in her chest, and when she returns in the evening, she gurgitates and gives them something to eat. The egg itself takes between 25 to 30 days to hatch. When the egg is hatched, the male will still stay home, sit on the young bird, protect it from sun or rain. But when the young bird gets to the age of about three months, where it's almost fully feathered, sun don't trouble it, rain don't trouble it, the males get together in groups and they migrate, leaving the females and babies behind. Mm. When the male migrate, the female still has a responsibility of going out to the ocean, fish and come back and feed the young bird. These young birds do not fly until they're between four and a half to five months old. The male migrate when they're just about three months. So for that other month and a half to two months, is left with the female all by themselves. When they fly, she's the one taking them up, teaching them to use their long wingspan, identify the food and how to get it. When she's finished teaching the young bird how to take care of itself, she will abandon it. Mm -hmm. It will be at least seven months old, flying, looking its own food, doing its own thing, but yet still, it will not have mature colors. It doesn't get the mature colors until it's two years old. No, none of the adults get excited over a white-headed bird. It can be anything, male or female. You must have your mature colors. The adult birds, they have a wingspan of 1.8 meters or 6 feet. A lifespan between 40 to 45 years. A top speed of about 60 miles per hour. They can fly at altitude of over 1,000 meters. Wow. Now, frigate birds are nothing like pelicans, boobies, or gulls that you see dive into the water. Frigates cannot do that. One, their wings are too long and fragile. And two, they have no oil glands to oil their feathers. So they can't dive into the water. When they dive for fish, they skim the surface, taking their long beak, pluck it right off the surface, one motion back to the heel. That's why they do all the fishing out in the ocean where they like flying fish and jackfish. They also follow the fishing boats. So when they pull the traps, the smaller fish, they throw back in the water and these guys will pick them up. Now, in some areas, the frigate bird, locally, we call the frigate bird man of war. Man of war. In Antigua, where my brothers and sisters are, they call them weather birds. In places like Belize or Peru, they're known as pirate birds or robber birds. As I said earlier, they chase down other seabirds and take away their catch. They say when you see them over the mainland going round in circles, look out. It's a sign of some weather coming. We call them man of war because what? A warship is actually a frigate. That's what the French and the British call their warships. They are found here in Barbuda, Key West, Florida, Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, Belize, Peru, and over in the Galapagos Islands. If you have any questions and want to continue now with the noise, I have no problem. I have a question. Is that a male with a like No, no, that, that's, that's a female. female. I have a question. So, yes, female. When they come back, do no, they, they come... don't go back to the same female. female. They don't go back? No. no. Do they check they on their back? babies? Hello? No. <laughs> they come back, they sit in it's the trees, they altogether. inflate their pouch, and any female that thinks that male is a handsome guy, can choose him for her companion. They don't. They, they're not connected like that. So do they? Oh, it can even be their own children. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you could do they be. fight? Are they in the other? They're smarter birds than us. They don't fight for you. They don't fight for for woman. They don't fight for man. They fight for twigs and sticks. The so they're like so they're polygamous. <laughs> okay, guys. So, are they in other parts of the Caribbean? I hope your, I hope your um, AC is working as good as mine, because all of my people are cool. Yeah. <laughs> are they not in Jamaica? Oh, we made it back from the bad sanctuary. That's a lot of work. Put your hands 
Okay, guys, let's go. Come on, baby, you, you. Okay, me first. Don't you see if we can ease up with some? Hold on, babe, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Step right back where you want to I want to step on the seat, huh? Step on the step seat. Step right back there. And then you can step over. Okay, step oh. on the seat. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh. We made it back. And of course, the answer is Brady now. Lunch o'clock. Oh, that's like an allowed for us on so other bit. What do you have? Fish and chicken. I'll do chicken. Everything. Okay, so we are now living Law Bay Beach. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you back on board. Welcome back on board. Uh, this is Low Bay, and now we are heading up to Princess Diana Beach, where you will be spending your remaining time here before heading back over to Antigua. <laughs> Princess Diana. 
Okay, no worries. No problem. Ladies first. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Where are you from? United Kingdom. Uh, beautiful beaches I've been in the world and there's not so many people here apart from the people that I came with in our boat and I love how clear the water is like very 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 clear so time to enjoy and spend some time here in Princess Diana Beach and then eventually later on we're going to go back to Antigua this was like a day excursion trip and wow I love it so far love it so there's no way you're going to visit Antigua and fail to visit Barbuda and if you're coming here Princess Diana Beach the water like right now it's like i don't know how to describe this shade different hues of blue i don't know how to give them names but every step you make is like a different hue of blue and all of them are all crystal clear so let me enjoy my time this water you I'm supposed to be living but I don't feel like living girl I need more time in Barbuda next time to anyone who is visiting Antigua and Barbuda I would recommend you try this excursion and you're going to thank me later and I must say that this is hands down one of the most beautiful beaches I've been to in the whole world oh my goodness i'll never forget this beach princess diana beach in barbuda anyway time to head back to the boat because we have to go back to antigua and thank you so much for watching this episode i hope you truly enjoyed it as much as i did don't forget to hit the like button and let me know what you think in the comment section below. I always say sharing is caring. So go ahead and share this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye. Kwaheri. Au revoir.